Hello farmers, uh, my name is Chris. Today we are at a farm. We've basically responded to a situation where goats have just started uh, dying. Uh, so these goats you are seeing here, they were vaccinated. They used the amount vax uh, plus, uh, which vaccinates obviously against most of the bacterial infections like the pop kidney TTC. But what happened here is they vaccinated the goats and soon after vaccinating, I think a few days, they then uh, dosed the, the goats. And thereafter, the goats started, uh, started dying. And now we, we've, we've been caught coming and uh, try to see what's happening. So like we always say to, to the goat farmers, um, before, what, what you are doing when you're vaccinating your animals, you're basically uh, just uh, you know, dealing, uh, you're upping up the immune system so that it's, it's ready to for the animals now to deal with infections like the pop kidney and so but as a rule of thumb uh, you have to uh, you know strictly abide by what's written on the, uh, the whatever drug you are using number one the mouth vaccine uh, plus they used here for it for the vaccine to be able to you know stimulate adequate immunity it has to be given uh, to be given twice so the goats need two um two injections uh, separated or at an interval of four to six weeks it means if you vaccinate the goats today uh you wait for the four weeks and after four weeks you repeat the vaccine again and after the second dose we expect that three weeks or four weeks the animals must have built enough for adequate uh, immunity so what happens if you just vaccinate your animals today then you dose them uh, the next day as, um, for instance, your, 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 your Clostridium species that stay in the gut. Uh, if, they, if, they, if there is a dose there, they can just respond by recognizing the dose as a trouble to them or as a, as a poison. And they respond by producing toxins, we call them uh, enterotoxins. Uh, and those toxins can actually then end up killing your goats or once you just disturb them by dosing them by the, the animal they will either move from the gut they can go to the liver or to the kidney so they start causing a lot of problems so as a rule of thumb you allow the animals to build adequate immunity against those uh, species before you dose them so you vaccinate your animals first you wait for the four weeks to lapse then you give the second dose uh, you wait for probably say three weeks after that the animals have adequate uh, immunity then you can now dose or deworm your goats if you don't do that you actually risk losing all the wall of your your flock because you see you don't want to just you know there's it's a behavioral uh, with these bacterial species that they need to be dealt with uh, with, with caution so this is something that's very important uh fortunately we have uh, managed to come here a bit early so what we're going to do now is basically to try and help the animals by giving them a relatively high doses of uh, broad, broad spectrum antibiotic like uh, penicillin, in the, penicillin in this case we are hoping that it's going to try and fight yeah, that uh, that infection somewhat so but uh, like we always say prevention is always uh is always better it's better than cure we are basically now trying to manage the situation but unfortunately the farmer has lost i think more than five six goats already and so so we, we advise that uh, when you're using these drugs these vaccines carefully read through the instructions if you don't understand them probably just ring to the nearest vets vet officers and so they can assist you um so that we don't end up in situations where you're losing the whole of your flock and so so now we want to try and assist these uh, goats we are going to vaccinate them give them a bit of vitamin supplements uh, and also during the course of your vaccinations um, your dosing etc also make sure that the animals are not stressed and how are they not stressed during handling you handle your animals nicely so that you don't stress them also ensure that there is adequate shed uh, there's no too much uh, you know sun or heat because now if they are heat stressed again that compromises uh, the immune system and your animals will not respond to your vaccinations or even to your to your doses so one of the note uh, one of the things we have noted here specifically is that there is no shed 
the animals are always in, in sunny and they, uh, they already look to be stressed. And that could be one of the, the reasons why uh, the immune system could not quickly uh, build up and the animals are now struggling. So we are now going to inject the broad spectrum antibiotic, giving them um, vitamin supplements and also to ensure that the animals have adequate water and feed and that they are not stressed. Uh, we are hoping that two weeks uh, from now, we should start seeing quite significant uh, improvements and we'll keep you posted. Thank you.